Hello guys, I hope you're having a wonderful time. Today I stopped by to answer some of your questions. The first I'm going to take is from Ifa Nywa Jane. It says, hello doctor, thanks for these motivative videos. Thank you too for watching. I'm a new subscriber. Well, you're welcome Jane. I hope you enjoy the contents that I provide from time to time in this on this channel. My question is about the PECG. I understand it is mainly for undergraduates. Of course, Jane, it is for undergraduates. Meaning, if one already had a post-secondary education, you are not eligible. Am I correct? No, Jane, you are not correct, okay? Even if you have any kind of formation, you can participate in the PECG, okay? Given that you are within the age limit, but uh, you can have master's doctorate, if you are within that age limit, you can participate, of course. Let's move on. You continue. For someone with a higher national diploma certificate, is it recognized in Brazil for masters? Well, Jane, to be sincere enough, I tried to check about this certificate and I couldn't, you know, find anything about it, okay? I think the best place to check for, uh, you know, uh, this information is the embassy. Maybe send them an email to see if you can participate. In my position, it's not possible to tell you that you're qualified or not. Or I should apply to, but for the above mention, I'm confused about whether to apply or not. As I said, you can confirm that at the embassy. Send them an email to see if there is something that will is required or uh, you are eligible to apply, you know, uh, for uh, a scholarship under the PEC G. Let's continue. Again, I read through the criteria where they mentioned some documents from one's parents. What should I do? My parents are late. Is there an alternative for that? Yes, there should be alternative for that. But, you know, to be sure, I think the embassy also should give you uh, an answer to that. Well, I've not seen any case of this nature. So, but in case you try to get the answers, maybe you can let me know so that I can make videos about it, okay? Uh, I think the best place for you to get some of your answers, majority of your answers, is at the embassy. Can an aunt, uncle, or even husband be a substitute? In general, if you are Jane, the best place to get most of your answers is the Brazilian embassy. You can write them uh, an email or try to see if you can contact them, uh, give them a call, uh, maybe or, or maybe register a, visit, a visitation and, you know, clear your doubts there, right? I wish you the best. The second question is from T. And T writes, Hello, doctor. Thank you for the video. I appreciate it too, uh, T. Thanks for participating. And thanks for sending this wonderful question. Let's continue. I've tried searching for real estate related courses in various universities in Brazil, but I haven't found. Well, you continue. I have found courses like architecture and urban and regional planning, but no real estate, estate management. Thank you for your prompt response. <laughs> well, T, you see, I did a little research about that. And what I saw is that the specific course you are mentioning that has to do with real estate is offered by the private institutions. You see, the private institutions, usually they look at what the market demands. And if you want to study specifically on real estate, something like real estate stuff, then it has to be in the private universities, you know, because it's something new and it's something that hasn't, we've not spoken about it for, let's say, 10 years here in Brazil, but they are into real estate, okay? So it's not like saying, oh, they are not into real estate. No, they are into it. But in the universities, they are still kind of maybe implementing them. When we have demand, of course, we need the supply. So the universities, they provide the, 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 
specialists or let's say people who maybe go into those areas so i believe that maybe in years to come you would hear curses specifically on real estate okay let's take a message from grace grace says thank thanks very much for the details well done my brother ayuba ah i really appreciate it grace it's because of you that i made this channel so that i can give you the little information i know you know i i don't know everything but i try to get the information you know let's continue the lord will continue to be with you and your family in jesus name amen <laughs> amen from emmanuel nigeria well emmanuel i really appreciate that okay i i i am really happy when i read comments like this you guys thanking me you know for what i do the next question is from sonia and i'm going to read her question here it says please do you mind sharing names of public universities that are open now for application well, Sonia, since you commented under the GCAP Mobility Program, I believe that you are questioning about the, the master's and the um, doctorate level. That is, you want to study under the GCUB Mobility Program. Now, for this year's edition, it has closed, unfortunately. So you have to wait for next year's edition. It's going to be around the, the middle of the year. Yes, it's usually in uh, May, June, you no know, July. It's just once a year and it's announced to everyone. Okay, so it's been announced. People have participated. They are waiting for their results already. You said to study masters in computer engineering, information technology, computer science, or cyber security. Please, I'm a new subscriber. Sonia, you are welcome right what i'm gonna inform you is maybe you should try next year next year's edition uh, but i'm gonna give you a list of some universities that are excellent in computer science computer engineering you know, cyber security well sonia i got this list from the folia de sao paulo folia de sao paulo is a trusted source the university classification or ranking for the computer sciences and engineering you have it here the eight is my university <laughs> i'm not gonna go without mentioning that the eight it is ufska universidade federal de são carlos that's where i study okay of course i need to mention that university it's it's one of the best in your sector maybe you can consider coming here okay <laughs> right so i'm gonna put the link to this list there so that it can help you also when you are doing your choice of university who knows it might uh, help you out okay you can see the list of the universities there the next question is from naimeka naimeka right did you have a baby in brazil to have your citizenship well, Nameka, no, I didn't do that, okay? Actually, the, uh, the idea was going back to Nigeria, okay, after finishing my course. But, you know, I got into relationship and, uh, you know, it resulted in having a baby. And, you know, you have to take your responsibility. And, of course, you have to stay. If uh, you are here, you have to get the citizenship to have some accesses. So... As a result of this, I said, why not, you know, get the citizenship. But having the baby aided in getting the citizenship. But the main idea was not staying in Brazil at the first instant, okay? It was just, uh, you know, uh, something that wasn't, uh, it wasn't foreseen. It wasn't in the plan, <laughs> right? Uh, but it's a good question. That's a good question. In Brazil, if you have a baby the baby automatically gets a Brazilian citizenship, okay? You don't need to go and uh, request for any special stuff, you know? The baby goes out of that hospital with a certificate, and then you take that to uh, a registry, and they register the baby. The baby automatically becomes a Brazilian. And maybe through that, you can gain 
uh, a citizenship okay it makes it easier for the father for the mother to get a citizenship okay the second to the last question I'm going to take here is from Temba Okoye. Temba has been a follower of this channel for a long time, okay? So it's nice to get a comment from you, Temba. So Temba asks, what time of the month does the graduate one start? If you search for information regarding the PECG, PEC PG, you would find fragmented information. It's because it's an old program, and I think that the embassies have not updated uh, the means of, let's say, communicating with the students. Although I think in the last edition, I saw the embassy in Sao Tome publishing through the Brazilian, uh, you know, platform, that's the gov.br. And I thought that was fantastic. You know, that's more democratic. At least people would see and then participate. But uh, in general, I think you can check the specific pages of the embassies. If you are coming from Nigeria, you can check the Twitter of the uh, consulate uh, of uh, Brazil in Lagos. You can check for the website or you can visit the embassy at the middle of the year. Okay, that period from June, you know, maybe from May, June, July, you know, that period you visit the embassy you request for information based on that okay so if you are really eager to participate within that period of time you contact the embassy to see if it's open okay so usually they open the processes within that period and they send the uh, applications to brazil you know and brazil answers before the end of the year so let's say uh, November, October, you already know that you have a slot, you have a spot, uh, uh, you have a space here in Brazil, a vacancy, okay? So that uh, in February, you are already in Brazil or in March, okay? The semesters, they begin in, in, in February, some, that's the early universities, some early universities open in February, the ending. But because of the carnival, most of them, I think, uh, open in March. A majority open in March, okay? So March, they open some in April. I think some uh, hardly you see universities opening in May, okay? Most of them run uh, from uh, March, April, okay? But it's possible to see universities opening in May because of some of the changes that uh, we've had, you know? the pandemic, also university strikes that affect the, the university calendars. So, uh, you know, you have these factors. But in general, as I said, keep in touch at the middle of the year, you know, so that you know me, right, Temba? The last question comes from Oye Wumi Collins. Well, it reads, for the 90 days tourist visit, can one get a job while taking the language course? get work permit with the job that would result in extended stay in Brazil. Well, Collins, if you are coming with a tourism visa, you have limitations. I checked it, okay? You cannot sign this. This is a working card. For you to work and uh, have like security, this is like social security. Uh, maybe if you are, if you are, you have an injury in working place, if you are sick or maybe uh, you decide to retire from service this is basically what's gonna help you out if you sign this okay this is mine I've never signed it before all right it's still unsigned but uh, this is what you cannot sign here in Brazil if you come with a tourism visa so it doesn't allow you to work but you mentioned that whilst while taking the language course so if you are taking the language course it means it opens other alternatives for you to have a, an extended stay in Brazil. Uh, usually the, the courses don't last for three months. Okay, They go way more than that. And uh, the school can give you a signature where you can renew your visa. Okay, So if you, in case you get to that period, you can like look for other things to do. Most especially related to education, you know. You can try to do some courses and then those courses can give you 
like uh, uh, signatures where you can renew your uh, your document and at the end of the day you have an extended stay here in Brazil okay until you get this right so even in the, the visa that is issued for the students it's a temporary visa there is limitation okay students cannot sign this but I was talking to some of them last week that came recently they said they are permitted to work all right even though uh, some of their documents carry a uh, let me see if I have something here okay there is no limitation okay this is my old uh, residency card okay no restrictions but usually they have something like this okay behind it it's written prohibido exercício de atividades remuneradas. Roughly translated to is prohibited to work with a signed document, okay, which is this one. But uh, they said that they can work, so it means that there are possibilities of maybe working with a uh, with a student visa, okay. So, but if you are in Brazil, you will try to find some means of you know staying legally okay uh, uh there are all alter there are alternatives here and uh it's a welcoming place okay it doesn't make uh, all these processes very difficult for people so that's why i like the country okay but who knows if it's gonna change you know people uh are not like how can i say people are not misusing this place behaving anyhow here all the people are, that are coming here are productive they are peaceful there are people who contribute and from all signs it's always been positive okay so uh things are easier if you go to do documentations you don't see uh things that are strange like okay they are trying to make things difficult for you okay because the history has always been soft things have always been good you know good people around and uh, things are easier right so this is the video for today I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I've answered some of your questions. If you have more doubts, please don't hesitate to send them, okay? Even though I have little time to make these videos, but you know, it's interesting, you know, to, <laughs> to share uh, the information, right? So see you in the next video.